Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to Two Northerners on Tour. everybody. Uh, Marie and I are going up to Ironside today. Uh, we're still under lockdown conditions so that means we can't stay anywhere overnight. Uh, however it doesn't mean we can't get out. So it's, uh, it's forecast to be a little bit brighter later on today. So we're just going to nip up to Ironside, do a little bit of walking, uh, maybe have a spot of lunch out and, uh, and enjoy a day in Max for a change. And when he says lunch out he means lunch in but out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm confused now. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, we'll see you guys soon. We've uh, finally arrived at Ironside. Yes, it's uh, a lovely day. Um, a little bit cold, but um, we'll get our walking boots on um, and have a walk up the front. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be in my shorts. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's not actually bad. It's it's uh, there's a bit of a breeze, but it's uh, it's pretty pleasant out there really. Uh, to could do with the clouds clearing a little bit more, but uh, you can't have everything. We're going to have a cup of our tea. In our in our new cups, mugs, uh, and uh, and then we're gonna head out head out I should say and have a little walk, uh, just enjoy the freedom and the countryside while we can. Mm -hmm. uh, come back later, have some uh, some late lunch, and uh, if we get the chance, stop here and have a, an evening meal uh, before we head back to uh, to home base. Really, mm -hmm. so catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hi guys, we're uh, on a lovely walk out Silverdale and as you can see, uh, sorry, Ironside, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's an absolutely stunning day. Marie sat here waiting for me, very patiently. Here we go? Yep. Okay. It's uh, certainly not what it forecast last week, is it? No. We're getting a little bit closer to our inside now. But, uh, just look at that countryside. Absolutely beautiful. We thought we didn't last at summer, didn't we? Well guys, we've uh, just stumbled onto the railway station at Ironside. So across the, uh, from the uh, headland here, up onto, uh, up into Ironside and uh, hopefully find ourselves uh, either at least a cup of tea or a bottle of water, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, it's warm. Maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah. Oh, I'm going back. Oh, 
Hide them. Oh. I'm not certain I've uh, bothered listening just lately. <laughs> Well, we've now reached uh, the centre of Irondale. Oh. Irondale. Ironside. Well, we've now reached the centre of Ironside. Uh, as you can see, the uh, beautiful weather has brought a, a few more people out. Uh, it is getting a little busier. We'll try and social distance as much as we can do, but uh, yeah, wow. Absolutely beautiful. I think we're ready for something cold to drink, aren't we, Marie? Yeah. We wish it was sitting in a pub, or at least outside a pub with a beer, but I think a bottle of water might have to suffice. I'll see you, dear. Hello. And a beer. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll just have to want until we get home. What a stunning day. You might be able to get an ice cream if you're lucky. That's where we was going to. We were going to park earlier on, but uh, because of 21 feet, which is too big for it. But, uh, nice walk, anyway. See you guys. Following Act of Parliament, the pier was constructed by Ulston and Lancaster Railway Company, replacing an earlier wooden structure which was built to provide a wharf for seaborne traffic after the construction of the viaduct across the estuary and had prevented ships from reaching the port of Milnthorpe. The end section of the pier was destroyed by a storm in 1934 and was rebuilt by the London Midland and Scottish Railway Company. The pier was bought by Ironside Parish Council for £100 in 1964. A storm on the night of the 30th, sorry, the 31st of January 1983 completely destroyed the causeway and the pier was rebuilt by public subscription and was officially reopened on the 12th of April 1984. So it's, uh, it's had a few uh, rebirths in its time. But, uh, what a lovely place. So it was then rebuilt by the Paris Council in 1983-84 at a cost of £25,000. The money was raised by the public subscription and the work was grant aided by Local Country Con uh, Commission, South Lakeland and District Council, Cumbria County Council and the Frieda Scott Charitable Trust. Surprising what people can do when they all get together. Well, there you have it. There you go. Ooh, well, I think we uh, we walked for, uh, how do I say, about... Uh, Four or five miles now, so we're going to turn around because otherwise we'll uh, we carry on. I think we'll probably end up in the North Sea somewhere. So, so, so we're going to. Uh, on the paddleboard, you mean? Yeah. On the paddleboard, just some sort. I think they're too far away for me to be able to see. You can just about make them out, but there you go. Somebody's enjoying the uh, the water and the calm uh, weather. Oh, I know there. 